Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, it's October, Halloween is coming and it means it's time to make some more spooky Halloween special dolls. The last week I've turned Barbie into the Night King. I think it was really an amazing transformation. And this time we're going to turn a Barbie doll into Laura Palmer. Honestly, I wanted to make something Twin Peaks related since the very first day I started my YouTube channel because I'm probably one of the biggest Twin Peaks fans in the world. Let me tell you a story a little bit, how it happened to me. I was nine years old when Twin Peaks was just premiering on TV and we really would love to watch some detective stories with my parents on weekend, on TV, you know. And when Twin Peaks started on TV, we thought it just, yeah, another weekend detective story. And I can tell you guys, I got completely addicted. Like a couple of weekends later, when my parents realized that it's probably not that much kids-friendly story, it was just impossible to stop me from watching it. Literally, I was obsessed. I've never seen anything like this. I was a kid, I was really nine years old and then 10 years old when the second season was premiering. I've never seen nothing like this. I was watching Cinderella or even if we're talking about detective stories, it was something more, I don't know, Indiana Jones, James Bond, something like this. And Twin Peaks, so surrealistic, so weird, so strange. All these characters where everybody was a little bit crazy, a little bit nuts, and you just absolutely don't understand what is going on, but you're completely addicted to it. So, now I'm already 35 years old and I'm still addicted and I still rewatch Twin Peaks if not every year, for sure every two years. And you cannot even imagine what kind of a huge influence this show had on me. Really, even right now when I'm rewatching Twin Peaks again and again, I find certain things that I have in my brains and I think like that they're my own like certain phrases, certain behaviors, certain kinds of jokes I don't know, I cannot even track them anymore that they're coming from Twin Peaks but they're from there so parents please be aware that your kids are watching YouTube Kids and not Twin Peaks and not some you know dangerous doll customizers because you never know how it's gonna to affect them like for me right now for example I'm absolutely not interested in regular stories because everywhere I'm kind of looking for this weird vibe of Twin Peaks, of its characters, of its story and you know even like for example like some I don't know beauty standards things that I love they're also rooted there in Twin Peaks and my obsession with Twin Peaks when I was a kid for example I still think that Audrey is just the prettiest girl in the world. This is for me like the iconic, absolutely ideal girl. Of course, of course, I was in love with Agent Cooper. There is no question about it. Everyone in the 90s, in the end of 80s, beginning of 90s, everyone was in love with the Agent Cooper. But also like Amazing Donna. Oh my God, guys, on Dr. Jacoby, I don't know, he also influenced me till the rest of my life, probably. So, today we're going to make Laura Palmer doll and we're going to make actually the dead body of Laura Palmer that's been found in the very beginning of the show, in the very first episode. And I don't know, I hope my channel will not be demonetized because of this, because yeah, today we're going to make a dead girl. And this video is actually a collaboration, it's our traditional collaboration with many other doll artists. If you're a little bit following our doll customizers community, then you know it probably already that every year in October we all collaborate together to make lots of spooky Halloween special dolls. So today is the day, this is the collaboration and right now on the screen you can see all the dolls 
made specially for this collaboration so if you're interested after watching my video you can go into the description box and you can find there all the videos of other artists and if you're for the very first time on my channel if you're actually coming from other doll artist videos then hello my name is marina i'm a doll artist i upload doll repaint videos every week friday well today is saturday but it's just because of this collaboration so subscribe to my channel hit the bell button welcome to the family and I'm going to start the transformation so for this makeover I've decided to take this Barbie fashionista doll mostly because she doesn't smile like the most of the Barbies so I think she's potentially a very good dead Laura Palmer impersonator and also this doll has already blonde hair so I can save a day or two on rerouting and we can jump right now straight into the repainting but first of all of course I want to remove her outfit and then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to be able to take it off easily. After this I take our toxic and extremely dangerous pure acetone and I'm going to remove this doll's original face. And then I cover the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to prepare the surface to be able to draw on it. And then I take these not so healthy looking colors and I'm going to start working on her face. And first of all I want to sketch it and I'm going to draw the basic shadows with brownish pastels first. I've protected the brown pastels with the sealant and now we can start layering the blue pastels because Laura's face it looks pretty blue on the reference pictures and of course when you apply blue pastels on top of browns you're going to get some dirt as a result because this is how these colors work together but I think that some layering of this blue color will help me to get a blue skin color where you still can see the real skin tone underneath and that after all it will not look too dirty, I really hope so
So now the face has been quite finished and now we need to make this body as blue as the face already is. And if you watch my videos sometimes then you know it already probably how much I don't like these teeth and not articulated bodies because they just cannot pose on pictures and they always look like dummies. But since we're making a dead girl today, this body is exactly what we need for this project. So let's sand it with nail buffers to remove the glossy top from the surface, then clean it with an acetone free nail polish remover, and then I'm going to cover this body with the same blue pastels like I've just used for her face. And of course, don't forget about the Mr. Super Clear sealant. And there is another tiny detail, guys. I want to place a tiny letter R under her nail, or on her nail in our case, especially for Agent Cooper to find it later. By the way, do you still remember this moment? Write it down in the comments. Okay, now we're going to work on her hair, because normally Laura is blonde just like this Barbie doll. But on the post-mortem pictures, her hair is much darker, probably from water, and it also looks quite dirty and wet. And I know just one way to turn your hair into something dirty and terribly looking. For this, you have to apply just too much of styling wax to your hair. I remember it still from my youth. So I've got here two different kinds of them, a cheaper one from a local brand and a more expensive one from a world famous brand. So let's smear it onto her hair and then we will make it dirty looking by applying brown soft pastels to her hair. And then I cover it still with some layers of hairspray to fix the pastels. And it looks absolutely amazing, I think. Now we're going to wrap our girl in plastic and of course using just a piece of regular plastic would be way too cheap and not really artistic for me. So I'm going to use this see-through warbler to make some sort of a permanent wrapped in plastic case. I don't know how to call it. So I've protected this doll with a layer of foil because I don't really know if this sort of warbler gets sticky or not. I've never worked with it before and I don't want it to get permanently glued to the doll's body. And then I start warming it up to make it very soft and then I turn it around the doll.
So this is how it looks. The plastic has become very hard now and to be able to get this doll out of the case and to put then our repainted doll inside, I'm going to cut it open on the back. But first of all, I want to put some glue on the rope on the back of this plastic and like this it will stay in place after I make a cut. I wrapped my mini Laura also in a regular soft plastic and like this it will look like she has been wrapped into multiple layers of this material because this warbler case is a little bit too much see-through right now. And there is still the very last detail left. You can see the sand on her face on the original picture. And that's why I'm going to mix this sand with a drop of tacky glue and I'm going to apply it to the doll's face. So, and here is finally my beautiful and sad dad, Laura. I'm so happy, guys. You cannot imagine that I finally made this doll. And I also kind of feel that it might open a complete new series of doll here on my channel, inspired by Twin Peaks characters. I would for sure make at least Audrey and Agent Cooper, because they're my most favorite ever. But of course, I would like to know first if you want to see the dolls like this, because maybe nobody cares about Twin Peaks in 2019. So please, guys, let me know. If I have more Twin Peaks fans watching me here on YouTube, so please take a second to say hello in the comments down below and also tell me, please, who are your favorite Twin Peaks characters and who should we recreate in a doll form. So guys, that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. And I will see you already very soon, next week Friday, in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye!